Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the restriction endonuclease enzyme. This is the part 4 of this tools of the genetic engineering. In the previous video, we have discussed about the restriction endonuclease enzyme and the remaining part of the restriction endonuclease enzyme we are discussing today. Now, we know very well that this is the enzyme which is very important tool used in the genetic engineering. Without this enzyme, we cannot think of the biotechnology or the recombinant DNA technology. Now see here, same restriction enzyme can cut both the foreign DNA and the vector DNA at a specific point. Say for, if this is the foreign DNA and this is the vector DNA, Vector DNA means what? Vector means what? Vector DNA or we can say it as that the most common vector is the plasmid vector. So this is the vector DNA and this is the foreign DNA. We are saying here that the same restriction enzyme can cut both the foreign DNA as well as the vector DNA. Means the restriction endonuclease enzyme, we know very well it is the molecular caesar. So it can cut the vector DNA and the foreign DNA at specific locations and because of which the resultant DNA fragments these are the resultant DNA fragments you can see that DNA has been cut it from here the foreign DNA has been cut it from here and you can see here that the vector DNA is also cut it from here okay so because of the use of the same restriction enzyme the DNA fragments right are having the same kind of the sticky ends means this foreign DNA and the vector DNA will be having same time of the sticky ends. We know very well that whenever the restriction endonuclease enzyme does its action, then sticky ends are produced which are the overhanging stretches. In the video number 3, you can watch it. Okay, I have discussed a lot about that. So what will happen? The sticky end of the foreign DNA and the sticky end of this vector DNA both will be joined it together with the help of an enzyme known as DNA ligase. We know very well that the joining enzyme is the DNA ligase. So the sticky ends will join together. So this is what the foreign DNA which has been joined with the, with the vector DNA to form a recombinant DNA. We know that vector DNA and foreign DNA combine together to form recombinant DNA and then this recombinant DNA is introduced into the host cell say for the best host cell is the E. coli bacteria okay we'll be discussing later on about the host cell in all okay. so this recombinant DNA is introduced into the host cell and the best host cell is the E. coli when the recombinant DNA enters into the host cell then this host cell is treated as a transformed cell and the entire process is called as the transformation. Okay, so one thing you have to remember here is that that the formation of the recombinant DNA is possible only when the foreign DNA and the vector DNA are cutted with the same restriction enzyme. Why? Because when we will be using the same restriction enzyme to cut the foreign DNA and vector DNA, then only the similar type of the sticky ends will be produced and then the DNA ligase enzyme will join these overhanging stretches or the sticky ends of both DNA to form the recombinant DNA. If we are using a different restriction enzyme for cutting foreign DNA and different enzyme for cutting the vector DNA, then recombinant DNA will not at all be produced. That's why I have written if the vector DNA and foreign DNA are cut with the same restriction enzyme, then only recombinant DNA molecule will be produced or created. Otherwise, the recombinant DNA molecule will not be produced. Okay, so this thing to be remembered. Now, the first restriction endonuclease enzyme, the first restriction endonuclease enzyme discovered was Hind 2. In the coming video, in the next video, we will be talking about the nomenclature of the restriction enzyme. 
the restriction enzymes are having a particular nomenclature okay the first word indicate the first word indicate the genus and the next two words especially the next two words indicate the species so the hind second hind second restriction endonuclease enzyme was the first enzyme discovered okay now today we know more than today we know more than 900 restriction enzymes that have been isolated from at least 230 at least 230 strains of the various bacteria okay now there are some special points written here on which the question can be asked in examinations that this enzyme is naturally found in E. coli now the question arises that restriction endonuclease enzymes are very important tool used in the genetic engineering that we know now very well but the question arises that from where these restriction enzymes are isolated or from where these restriction enzymes are obtained so we must know that these enzymes or we can say that this restriction enzyme is naturally found in certain bacteria say for E. coli Bacillus, Streptococcus, and Thermus aquaticus bacteria. Okay, means it is very much clear that the restriction enzymes are obtained or isolated from the bacterial cells, especially E. coli, Bacillus, Streptococcus, etc. Now, we know that restriction enzymes are used as molecular scissors in the biotechnology or the genetic engineering and we cut the foreign DNA and the vector DNA with the help of these restriction and the nucleus engine. But now a big question arises which the students are not knowing that it's fine that it's used as molecular scissor but it is found in the bacteria. This has been cleared by this point that they are found in the bacteria. Now the question arises that if they are found in the bacteria then what is the role of these enzymes when they are found in that bacterial cell so always remember that i have written a question here that what is the role of the restriction endonuclease enzyme in the bacteria so remember it protects the bacteria it protects the bacteria from the attack of the virus or the desired dna always remember the role of the restriction endonuclease enzyme is to protect the bacteria from the attack of virus or by the attack of the desired dna why because whenever the virus attacks the bacteria or the desired DNA attacks the bacteria, they destroy the attacking virus or the desired DNA. Means they will destroy the desired DNA. They will destroy the incoming desired DNA or the attacking virus. And hence they will be giving the protection to the bacterial cell. Okay. And one more thing that restriction enzymes are found in the bacterial cell but they never destroy the DNA of the bacterial cell in which they are found they never destroy the DNA of the bacteria in which they are living they will destroy the desired DNA or the attacking virus okay now we know very well that the whenever the restriction endonuclease enzyme does its action then a 4 to 6 nucleotide sequence a 4 to 6 nucleotide sequence known as the recognition sequence is generated now here are some recognition sequences here are some recognition sequences of the restriction endonuclease enzyme right so these are the recognition sequences okay because we know very well that restriction endonuclease enzyme inspect the entire length of the DNA and then cuts the DNA at specific nucleotide positions and that sites are called as the recognition sequences or the palindrome nucleotide sequences okay so say for if this is the ECOR1 this is a restriction endonuclease enzyme okay so the recognition sequence of this restriction endonuclease enzyme is this one GAATTC and CTT 
टी ए ए जी एंड द सोर्स एंड द सोर्स इज द इक्वलाइट मीन्स दिस एंजाइम इको आर वन विच इज अ रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंड न्यूक्लियस एंजाइम इज आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम द इक्वलाइट बैक्टीरिया एंड इट रेकोगनाइजेशन इट रेकोगनाइजेस अ सीक्वेंस जी ए ए टी टी सी एंड सी टी टी ए ए जी ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज बैम फर्स्ट बी ए एम फर्स्ट द सोर्स ऑफ दिस रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम इज बेसिलस एमाइलो लिक्विफिकेंस बिकॉज बी फॉर बेसिलस एंड ए एम फॉर एमाइलो लिक्विफिकेंस हियर ऑल्सो E for Escherichia, CO for Coli. Okay, so the source of the source of the BAM first restriction and the nucleus enzyme is Bacillus amylolipidificans bacteria, and the recognition sequence of this restriction and the nucleus enzyme is G G A T C C, and its palindrome sequence is C C. That is C C T A G G. Okay, I have also written the third one, right? This is also restriction and nucleus enzyme. That is hint three. Okay, H for hemophilus, I N for influenza. Means the the source of this hint three uh, restriction and nucleus enzyme is a bacteria known as hemophilus influenza and the recognition sequence of this restriction endonuclease enzyme is a a g c t t and the palindrome is t t c g a a okay so these are some recognition sequences of the restriction endonuclease enzyme so student today we have discussed about that how do the restriction endonuclease enzyme cuts the foreign dna as well as the vector dna and how the sticky ends of these two dna fragments are joined together with the help of the ligase enzyme to form the recombinant dna and this recombinant dna is introduced into the host cell okay and we have studied some special point about the restriction and nuclease enzyme in the next video right that is this is the video number 4 in the video number 5 we will be discussing about the nomenclature of the restriction and the nucleus enzyme you will be eagerly waiting for this that what is eco r1 what is bam1 what is hin3 and all so in the next video we'll be discussing about the restriction and the nucleus enzyme so keep watching uh, thanks a lot if you want to take a screenshot you can take the screenshot